May the Lord bless and keep you. This is 29 signs you have a demon living inside of you, hearing voices on the inside talking to them. These voices may also refer to the host and the third person. Feeling or sensing the demons moving on the inside of them, feeling pressure and movement in the head and stomach areas. Demons can also attack the central nervous system so it feels like the person is going crazy at times. Having bad and frequent nightmares, sometimes with the same bad and horrific nightmare being repeated over and over again. May have seen some of the demons in an actual vision. Can sometimes smell the demons who have a very putrid, putrid and toxic smell to them. Demons can also smell like burning sulfur at times. Will have strong inner compulsions to do bad things that are not in their normal behavior patterns, like having bad thoughts of suicide and murder can also have very strong addictions to things like drugs, alcohol, and pornography. Abnormal fascination with the occult or any type of criminal activity. Abnormally strong feelings of rage and hate in them that are not part of their natural personality and makeup. Demons can also transmit heavy feelings of despair, hopelessness, depression, and that they have committed the unpardonable sin of blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Irrational fears, panic attacks, and phobias on some type of a regular basis. Periods of having lost all sense of time from minutes to actual hours and can sometimes end up somewhere and not knowing how they got there. Also, regularly doing things for which they have no memory of actually doing. At times, can sense an evil presence on them, in them, and in the houses they live in. Will feel cold spots in certain areas of the houses they are living in, with these cold spots not being by any open windows. Will sometimes see dark shadows running across some of the rooms in their houses, especially in their bedrooms, can have poltergeist type phenomena occurring in their houses, such as material objects flying across the room, doors opening up and slamming shut all by themselves. Drawers opening up on their own, hearing footsteps shuffling across the floors and scratching type noises on the walls, along with the electricity going on and off and material objects actually disappearing. In the more extreme cases, the person can literally find themselves levitating right off their bed at times. May have the ability to speak in a foreign language of which they have no natural knowledge of. 
can be capable of great abnormal physical strength, can receive mild to strong trembling and shaking sensations on different parts of their bodies, can also receive choking sensations in a tightness around their head and eye areas, abnormal amounts of dizziness, blackouts, and seizures, very heavy, uncontrollable, twitching type activity on certain parts of their bodies, like their face and their arms, may have had some out-of-body experiences, especially in cases of sexual abuse and satanic ritual abuse, have a very hard time in praying and reading from their Bibles, can also have an actual revulsion of the Bible to the point of wanting to try and tear it apart or burn it. A compulsive desire to want to curse and blaspheme God and Jesus can have multiple personalities in them which are known as altars may have tried other kinds of treatments and medications from other psychologists and psychiatrists with no real help or relief ever being given to them. The demons can at times take control of the vocal cords and speak right out of the person's mouth when this occurs, the tone of the person's voice can change like a woman speaking out in a man's deep, husky voice. Demons can also emit animal-like sounds out of a person's mouth and vocal cords, like the hissing of a snake, the growling of a lion or tiger, or the emitting of a baying type howl like a wolf. They can also let out very loud screams and yells, especially when being directly confronted by the deliverance minister during the actual deliverance itself. The demons can also manifest in the person's eyes where you can see them literally looking at you. What you will see when this occurs is pure evil and pure hatred looking at you. You will also see this look from the demons being captured in some of the person's past photographs. As some of these demons love to show themselves in the person's eyes and countenance when photos are being taken of them. Another type of look you can see when the demons are looking out of someone's eyes is what I call the hollow look. When you see this type of demon look, it is like you are looking into someone who has no personality they will look soulless and lifeless to you when you see this type of look coming out of their eyes. And you will also know that it is not the personality of the person you are looking at. Different types of facial contortions which no longer look like the person such as glazed eyes, blank stare type eyes, eyes rolling backwards, where all you see are the whites of the eyes and stretching the skin of the face into a contorted, hissing-like expression. Different types of bodily contortions, like people slittering across the floor, like snakes, getting on all fours and barking like dogs, 
growling like lions or howling like wolves, abnormally stretching out their spines, fingers and hands locking up and going rigid, and demons grabbing a hold of a person's throat in order to try and stop them from talking with you. The demons can also whip the head in a very rapid side-to-side -side type movement, stretch the neck out as far as it will go, along with jolting portions of the body, causing those portions to move in a very rapid side-to-side -side type movement. So this is the end of 29 signs you have a demon living inside of you. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.